Hi everyone! This is Attorney Kama, your tax buster again, and uh, today we'll be talking about this recent issue that we have been seeing on social media, specifically the statement of the BIR requiring those who are selling online to register with them, to register their businesses as uh, taxpayers. Of course, maraming nagalit, maraming nainis dahil napaka-insensitive daw, napaka-inconsiderate ng statement nito considering that these pe- why the reason why these people are selling online is because a lot of us have uh, lost their jobs, uh, lost their businesses, lost their clients. So, marami talaga nagsara. Alam naman natin lahat yun because of this pandemic, no? And yet, here, here comes the BIR telling everyone, oh, parang basag trip na, oy, mag-register kayo, ha? But again, uh, you should remember that these people who are selling online are merely doing this to make ends meet dahil sa nawalang income. So, hindi naman ganun kalaki yun yung kinikita. Tapos, ganyan pa yung maririnig natin. And a lot of people and even our lawmakers uh, have sided with the citizens saying that why not go after again, go after the pogos who who us millions and millions worth of taxes. Tama nga naman, di ba? Hindi na lang habulin. Imbes na yung maliliit na tao. But yes, are we required to pay taxes? Are online sellers required to register with the BIR and pay taxes? Legally, yes, definitely. But again, it's just a matter of sensitivity and consideration for the government. Hindi na hinihingan, although humihingi ng tao, maganda may ayuda, but yung iba, a lot of people, instead of asking money for the government, from the government, they would rather resort to thinking of ways to earn money, such as online selling. And instead, tumulong, di ba, ang gobyerno, pahihirapan pa. And we all know that to register with the BIR, we, should, we have to go out and register and fill up forms. You know? So, pahirap talaga sa tao yon. However, for those of us who would want to comply, or who would want to make this online business kung ano mang negosyo na ginagawa nyo ngayon for the long term, there are things that uh, we need to do in order to, to comply. And of course, a lot of us would want to know what those are. So, yun yung discuss natin today. Ano ba yung mga bagay na, ano ba yung mga bagay na kailangan gawin para gawing isang maayos at legal ang isang negosyo. May online selling man yan, o kung service man yan, kung ano pa yan. Okay? So, first of all, when it comes to taxation, uh, kung sa ika, nag-iisa ka lang naman, nag-online selling ka, mag-iisa ka lang, ang tawag sa iyo ay self-employed individual. Okay? So, kung self-employed, kung ikaw naman ay isang professional tulad ko, isang abogado, o, or isang accountant, CPA, or isang architect, or engineer, or um, financial advisor, insurance advisor, di ba, na may na-license, tapos nagbabayad din ng professional taxes taon-taon sa, sa city hall, uh, ang tawag naman doon ay professional. Ang tawag sa atin ay professional. So, ito yung mga under the tax code, yung SEP, yung Self-Employed and Professionals. So, yun yung classification. So, ano ba yung dapat na gawin to comply with the law? First of all, if you are a... If you are self-employed but not paying PTR, not a professional, let's say you're doing online selling, the first thing that you should do, one of the things that you should do is to register with the TTI. So, register mo yung business name mo sa Department of Trade and Industry para ma-reserve na rin yung business name. And after that, magre-register ka ngayon sa BIR, pupunta ka doon sa BIR, doon na kung saan yung RDO mo, yung Revenue District Office, which has jurisdiction over your place of residence, kung home base ka lang naman. And upon registration, you would also be required to print receipts. So, magpapaprint ka pa ng resibo. Usually, ang minimum niyan, 10 booklets. No? Kukuha ka ng authority to print pagka-register mo And you will have to get your certificate of registration Your COR from the BIR And get an authority to print receipt Tapos padadali mo yung authority to print mo Doon sa gagawa ng resibo Magpapagawa ka ng mga booklet ng OR mo Or sales invoice kung goods ka uh, By the way, if you're a seller of goods If you're selling goods or a merchandiser, manufacturer Ang pagagawa mo is sales invoice now, if you are offering services, let's say, match at massage, and then, hindi ata kong makikita massage niyo dahil bawal nga contact ng social distancing. Pero kung service yan, advisory, business advice, uh, official receipt kasi service. Kung restaurant ka, official receipt din yan kasi considered service business ang isang restaurant. But, oh, if you're selling goods, it's sales invoice. So, papagawa ka nun, dadali mo yung, AT, yung authority to print or ATP mo dun sa gagawa ng resibo, papaprint ka. Usually nga, 
minimum niyan 10 booklets. Iba, baka pumayag ng 5. Pero yun. So, tapos bibili ka rin ng iyong books of accounts. Papatatakan mo yun sa BIR. Yung, yung, ano ba yung mga books of accounts na yan? Merong basic na apat na kailangan. Yung general ledger, general journal, yung subsidiary sales journal, at subsidiary purchase journal. Na yung iba, ang tawag din, cash disbursements journal at cash, cash receipts journal. So, yung basic na books, there are four books. So, ito yung books of accounts. So, makikita mo yan. Binib meron na bibili yan sa national bookstore, sa mga bookstore. Uh, tapos, patatatakan mo yun sa BIR. Kung manual filing ka. So, books of, so, books of accounts, and, uh, rather, hindi manual filing, but manual books of accounts ang gagawin mo. Pwede rin naman, kung gusto mo mag excel ka, if you're going to use Excel, you will ha register as a loose leaf. So, papa-register ka na loose leaf yung books of accounts mo. So, ang gagawin mo doon, i-excel mo siya and then after doing your books, ipiprint mo yung Excel file and then you will have to bind it and yun naman yung isasubmit yung sa BIR. The, uh, the third option is yung CAS or Computerized Accounting System which is napakamahal niya kasi bibili ka talaga ng accounting software and, and if you're just a small business doing online selling, maaring that's not for you yet. Diba? So, yun yung mga bagay na kailangan gawin ng isang negosyante na gusto magparehistro ng negosyo. Now, if you also want to have your own trademark diba? or trade name, you, you can also register with the uh, Intellectual Property Office para magparehistro ng iyong trademark, yung logo mo, yung tra pangalan ng brand mo, yan. o kung meron kang special formula or na-invento ka, gusto mong ipapatent dun yan sa Intellectual Property Office. So, natrabaho talaga, no? But uh, the good thing is, uh, we ha we now have this Ease of Doing Business app, di ba? Na supposedly, it's to make businesses or registering or easier for entrepreneurs. So, ano ba yung mga bagay na uh, nagawa? Well, one of the things that it should have, it, it has done is to provide for kiosks. So, itong mga kiosks niyan, now can be found in malls. So, mga mall, makakita natin, selected malls, there are kiosks ng BIR, magkakatabi na yan, may BIR, may DTI, nandun na rin yung SSS, nandun na rin yung, yung PhilHealth, so, magkakatabi na siya. And yes, by the way, since I mentioned it, if you have employees, meron kang in ka, nag-online selling ka, pero nagkumuha ka ng mga empleyado, ng mga delivery boy, o mga warehouse man, di ba? So, meron kang employees in short, you also need to register your business with the SSS. Social Security System. Yan. So, kasi babayaran mo. And feel health. Yan. Tsaka pag-ibig. So, required din magparegister doon sa mga sa mga bagay, sa mga offices na yun, if you have employees. Alright? So, that will be all for now. We, if you have any questions, if you want me to add more things, then just let me know. Type in your comments below. And please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be updated in the latest videos, just don't forget to smash that bell button. And have a good day everyone and keep safe. And now you know, and knowing is half the battle.